Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be making fresh Manitoba walleye fillets. So typically, up here in Manitoba, we like to bread these things and fry them, and that's excellent, but we're gonna go with a different, in a different direction for this one, and we're gonna bake them. I'm Kevin Fung. For me, cooking isn't just about putting food on a plate. It's the connection we have to nature and the relationships made when breaking bread. Join me as I share my love of all things food and the passion for the outdoors. So yeah, we're gonna start by getting our fillets out that are on ice water right now. We're gonna pat dry them with paper towel. So we're gonna lay them on the paper towel, take some more, and just pat this thing dry. All right, so we're just gonna let that sit for a second. Over here we have our uh, gray morels, uh, the Wildlands gray morels uh, found here in Manitoba. They are dehydrated, we gotta rehydrate them. We are gonna use the broth that for a sauce later, and the mushrooms are also gonna go in the sauce. So we've got those sitting, it takes about 15 minutes, they just need to sit in warm water. I brought the water to a boil, lowered it to a simmer, added the mushrooms, and they've been sitting there uh, ever since getting rehydrated. All right, so we move on with the fish. We've got a piece of parchment paper here, pan. Put it down. You're gonna take your fillet and you're gonna lay it there right in the middle. You want at least an inch on every edge uh, because we're gonna egg wash that. Put another piece of parchment paper on and seal it up. So you're gonna need to be able to fold it over. That's what that inch is for. You've got lots of space here. The more, the better. So first things first, we're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. got some dried nettle here, which is also found in uh, the Manitoba bush by the same people that gather these mushrooms. They dry this out as well. Add that on there. Alright, so I got half a lemon here. I'm just going to cut a couple thin slices. Just lay it over top like that. You can hit it with just the juice if you'd like. The presentation looks great like this. All right, so we got some Kalamata olives, and we're gonna slice these things into little rounds. Like that, and then we're just gonna lay them over top evenly. Next thing, baby tomatoes. We're gonna slice these things in half, lengthwise, and do the same. All right, next, olive oil. Virgin olive oil, we're just gonna Drizzle a little bit over top. And that's it for topping the fillet. Now we're gonna egg wash the outside edge, fold this over. So we've got one egg here that we beat up. We can take our brush here, coat that outer inch. That's gonna help seal the, the package, the sack or whatever you wanna call it. Now we're gonna take this, Lay it over top, kind of press down that outer edge. The egg will help it stick a bit. And then I really like to start with the ends. And I'll fold a corner in, fold another corner in, and just fold it over. Do the same over here. Corner in, corner in. Hold it. Now if you want a little extra egg in there, help that stay a bit. It's a good idea. It doesn't need to look pretty, you just want it to stay shut. Now you can preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. This is going to go in there for roughly 20 to 30 minutes. Um, I usually, I'll probably lean towards the 20 minutes. It's not a huge fillet, so it's not going to take that long. Um, to preheat your oven, throw it in the fridge if you haven't done that already and just wait for it. You've got sauces to make anyway, so you got some time, but yeah. Alright, so our fish is uh, sealed up and it's a uh, little sack and ready to go in the oven, so now we're going to get kicking on the sauce. So we've got these uh, morels here soaking in the warm to hot liquid. Uh, they have rehydrated, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. So now we're going to strain them off, put the mushrooms aside. Those are going to go into the sauce themselves, but so will the broth that has been made by rehydrating the mushrooms themselves. There's tons of flavor inside. 
of that liquid now. That's great for soup bases. If you're doing a vegetable soup or a mushroom soup, don't throw that away. Here we're gonna use it for a sauce. So there's a Mornay sauce, is a cheese sauce, which uses uh, the chicken broths and stuff. We're, we're gonna kind of get draw some inspiration from that, but go in a different direction and use the mushroom base, um, the wild mushroom earthy flavor for this fish. So we're gonna strain it off. Got a little bowl here. probably four cups there. We're only going to need about a half cup to a cup of that, but I'll save that and use that for a soup later on. We're going to set that aside, clean up our area here a little bit, and just put that right there so it's ready to go and ready to make our sauce. So this is a dairy heavy uh, sauce. Uh, it's a lot of butter, cream, uh, there's some parm in there. Uh, flavorful sauce we're going to use to have the earthy component from the mushrooms and the nettle and the broth itself. Um, but we're going to add some veggies once the sauce is done. We're actually going to cook some veggies into the sauce itself and the whole thing is going to go on top of the wallet. So we're going to start, we've got about a quarter cup butter here, and we're going to take one yellow onion here. The slower you are at cutting onion, the more of it's going to come up in the air and get in your eyes and that's where the crying comes from. So we've got our onions cut. Our butter is browned. Get that onion in there. And we're gonna cook those until they're translucent. Fairly large peeled garlic cloves here. We're gonna mince and throw it in there. Garlic burns a heck of a lot faster than onions do. So you don't wanna put them in there at the same time. The garlic burn. And you don't want that. So cut the garlic the same way. If you have a press, use that. Otherwise, do it the same, same way you did the onion. Add that in. All right, so now we're gonna add a little bit of flour. This will thicken the sauce up a little bit. Just about a teaspoon. Butter and flour makes a root. We've got the onions and the garlic in there. But that's gonna thicken it up. So you got a base for your sauce now. So now we're gonna add half cup of the broth. We're gonna turn it down a bit, let that simmer. While we wait, more else. Got some black ones and gray ones in here. This is roughly 10 to 15 grams. We're just going to give them a rough chop and put them directly in salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, the lemon that I'm going to add now. I choose half lemon. This is something that uh, I encourage you to taste it as you go. And you need more salt, add more salt. Stir it in. So we got about a cup and a half of cream here. All right, so we've still got it on low heat. What we're gonna do next is take two bay leaves, chuck them in some fresh thyme, chuck it in. Now we're gonna add the parm, some arugula, and broccolini. It's good stuff. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna cut off the stems. And give it a rough chop. We're gonna add it in. The bay leaves can come out. Now we got some arugula here. Again, just over a cup. Just lay it in there. As it heats up, it'll start to wilt. And once the arugula is wilted, that's when we're gonna add the parm. So we're gonna shred it now. All right. So the arugula is all wilted. I'm gonna remove that bunch of thyme. I'm gonna add the parm, so it's easy recipe. Almost everything's in cups. I got another cup here of Parmesan. Stir it in. 
have it on low heat. You don't want the cheese to burn to the bottom of your pan. All right, so we've added our parm. It's melted in there and incorporated. The sauce is exactly where we want it to be consistency, thickness. Now we're just gonna test it out, see if we got the right balance of stuff going on in there. That sauce is ready. So we got a couple more minutes in the oven with the fish, and then we'll take it out, show you how we unwrap it, plate it, and top it. Fish tool here, be very gentle. And now for the sauce. Like I said, hit that subscribe button and give us a follow because we'll have more of these videos coming.